Hello everyone. I'd like to start off by saying thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. It took me a little bit of time to make this video, so without further ado, we are going to be discussing the most controversial statues known to man. The Veiled Christ and Deception. Both have been highly scrutinized as impossible to make, but we need to go further and we need to see who commissioned the artist to make these impossible sculptures. One man was responsible for basically the design and the concept of not only the sculptures, but also this place here. The most amazing sculptures ever created is in a little inconspicuous building that I'm sure if you were just walking past, unless you looked in like that, you wouldn't even know it held these pieces. Ten amazing sculptures. And that's not even counting all the adornments, which we'll get into in other videos. But I wanted to go into the building itself and the person who is responsible and who owns basically the most amazing sculptures in the world. Alright, now looking from above, let's go ahead and take a look at the surroundings and nothing special unless there was a red beacon there a red drop point I would never even be able to tell that that building was there literally I bet if we were just walking down the street it it wouldn't look like anything I just think it's absolutely phenomenal that and you, you can kind of see how this building looks you can, you can kind of get an idea of where these sculptures are, basically, kind of. Um, but yeah, nothing really impressive about the outside structure that house, <laughs> I've said it several times, I'll probably say it again, the most amazing sculptures in the world, literally. And I will make a separate video, uh, basically devoted to each one, but right now we need to... We need to see where it all started. So Raimondo uh, was definitely born into wealth. He was educated by the Jesuits, which I think you kind of know kind of a little bit about that. Uh, it's for a different video. And because of his stature, he was able to befriend someone like this guy. Uh, whenever he rolled up into Naples, and became king there. I'm sure. Th let's see. That was uh, that was uh, f four years after Raimondo had moved back to Naples, and so I'm guessing he had already built himself up a reputation of being <laughs> probably a weirdo inventor. Uh, he was compared to as like a Nikola Tesla, um, uh, a Howard Hughes type of person. And 
and he was very respected actually um he he was well versed in many many fields as you saw there besides what i even listed his printing press was pretty much like the talk of the town everyone went there to uh use his services uh, he printed his own literature he printed uh other people's literature and but there is a little bit uh, a different side to him and there were starting to be some rumors out there um and you you, you be the judge um with, with what you're about to see uh, you know he had definitely the highest of highest friends right i mean if he's like hey if he's telling the king, yo, I, I need to make this, but I need, you know, a person, then, uh, you know, hook me up. So I'm thinking we're about to be a little shocked here. I don't know why, but whenever I zoomed out after looking at this, uh, what, I don't know what they call it, uh, chapel, uh, I just was looking around to see what else um, was there, and just right down the street, I mean, probably five minutes of walking, and there is a museum of torture. I don't even need to I, could, I don't even need to know Italian to understand that name. This is real. So Raimondo was known to kill people and then right down the street, probably from around the same time period, you got these things here. Absolute just I mean it's hard to really think about that you see this you know we see it in movies like game of thrones and all that other stuff but when you see it like for real like you see like this is real then you know really i don't know it makes me feel good to be alive right now at this time but then I just started looking again, and maybe this one's about a 30 minute walk, but, uh, you know, I just, I saw this building and it was really interesting, and these catacombs were underneath this huge, you know, cathedral, and it's a really, really interesting story. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to get into it probably deeper, like, uh, you know, but for this video, it serves its purpose as a place that has these here. And I just, uh, I'm, I kind of just don't even understand. Like, these are real people, and they apparently, like, walked into that. And I guess half their body was exposed, um, is what I was reading. And this depiction here um, is supposedly is named Victory Over Death, but that guy looks scared for his life. Um, you know, there's just another place of death. You know, all these bodies around, and we got all these statues out there, right? Um, you know, I'm just... Maybe I'm putting things together that don't really need to be added up, but 
I just see all these bodies encased in stone and you know all these rumors that you know um, people are made of marble or things are actually made of marble that alchemy was used and you know this is really weird and I mean I'm just I'm just kind of connecting dots here and I originally, you know, was going to look up that person who commissioned the artist. Well, originally I was going to look up the artist. I started looking up the artist and uh, getting information, as much information as I could on the sculptors. But you, know, you got to start from ground zero. And ground zero is the building itself. It is the building and it's the person who had the building it's the person who commissioned the artists. Uh, so next videos will be uh, one by one knocking out everything inside that um, chapel, I guess that's what, it, that's what they call it. But I do plan on uh, going to Italy uh, next year and, and seeing these firsthand and recording and taking photos firsthand. So yeah, I, that's my next goal. So in, until then, I'm gonna keep on making these videos and documenting all these strange sites. That way, whenever I do get a chance to go there, uh, I can basically, like, uh, I'm gonna spend a whole year just mapping out my route. So that way I kind of already know and I'm gonna use that flight simulator that I have. So, you know, I'll, that way I, I can kind of get my bearings on going here and then, then you know I'm gonna go over to like that mountain that was made into a man <laughs> I don't know the name of it but you know I'm basically gonna try and I don't know if I should zigzag or you know from east coast to west coast or if I should just go you know all down one coast and then come back around but you get the idea I'm gonna keep on making videos not just Italy, but it's just a shame that there's so many buildings just in this town and there's so much of the world uh, and there's a lot of different places that, I'm, that I have already visited on uh, my simulator and I just got to get around to making them. But I know that I had made a video about impossible sculptures a while back. And so I want to basically come full circle and kind of close that chapter and just move forward because, uh, you know, a lot of people were saying things in the comments about uh, different methods of like, like 3D. Uh, even I thought maybe that was 3D printed, you know, that those sculptures are 3D printed. But, you know, to me and that, that guy with the net, um, to me, I think they were able to uh, like soak fabric into something and then turn it into marble. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Um, but yeah, so here's just a couple other buildings that I'm highlighting. Um, well, I, I was just, you know, zooming around Google Earth after I got done with uh, that one building. And I'm going to make a whole other video of me flying around Naples. But yeah, it's just these, none of these, this stuff adds up, you know. If, if you actually look at it for your own eyes, and then, you know, you, you're, you're told what, what, you know, they, they say, you know, I think we know. I think we know what's going on here. They're lying to us. They don't want us to know the real history because the 99.9% .9 overwhelm the, you know, one or point zero whatever, 1%. And they don't want us to do that. They don't want us to take over. So they got to hide this. And, you know, they, they, they are all knowing right now because they keep all the information away from us. But uh, let me know what you think and give me your opinions on this Ramando guy. And I look forward to making videos on the Veiled Christ next. Peace.